Hello everybody, I'm Rachel from Mrs Rachel Brady and I vlog and blog about family, food and life in the countryside and books and that type of thing. So I've had a bit of a break from YouTube, I've had a baby, he's sleeping, he's five weeks old. Uh, I've only done like two uh, videos since I had Stanley and that was like an attempt to get back into vlogging but like it's just fallen down by the wayside. This is like the most impromptu video I've ever done. I have not put any makeup on. I'm like, I normally have a little tidy up behind me. I haven't even done that. So I hope it's not looking too messy everywhere. But I just literally thought Stanley should, fingers crossed, sleep for another hour. He won't do, you know he's gonna wake up, but if he does, that's fine. I can show him off to you guys. Um, and I just thought, Ah, I could do a video. I was actually just doing some online shopping, which is like not a good way to spend time. But yeah, I'm finally, I just thought I'd do um, a chatty update because I haven't spoken to you guys. There's loads of stuff to talk about. And um, I just thought, why not do it now? First thing to talk about is update on Stanley. Yeah, so he's five weeks old. He is amazing i am delirious that's how i described myself the other day to a friend I'm, who's also had a baby i was like how are you because i'm delirious over mine because they're about the same age uh and I, you forget like uh how in love you go over them uh when they're so new and it's, it's such a lovely thing like just getting to know him every day and his little face i always think they go into this phase where they find their face because like all newborns are a bit like squidged up looking, but gorgeous. And then they kind of find their face, don't they, over the next few weeks and we can kind of see who he's looking like. He's like a total mix of Arthur and Beatrix, I think, in every way. He's like, sometimes I see Arthur in him, sometimes I see B in him. He's a dream, he's a very easy baby. Obviously, I'm still up in the night, like every three to four hours. So what normally happens is Adam will feed him at like 10, half 10. I, I go to bed every night at eight and I read till nine and I turn the light out. And sometimes I don't even wake up um, when Adam brings him back in because I'm just out like a light. <laughs> so I'm sleeping quite well. Uh, yeah, and then I feed, I feed him, he wakes up about kind of two, half two. Um, and then sometimes, including last night, he wakes up, no, what am I about? All the time, apart from about three times, he wakes up about five but sometimes he's not woken up about five. So that, that's the feed that we're trying to get rid of at the minute. So hope, sometimes I will just like put a dummy in and see if we'll just accept that. Um, so we're trying to knock off one feed, but yeah, like I'm totally, I am a bit tired, but I'm, I've, I've, I used to have one cup of coffee in the morning, now I have two. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm fine. I'm having my placenta tablets. You can probably see them behind me. I'm gonna do a video about those. I'm just gonna wait till six weeks. Uh, I've been documenting how I've been feeling, which is amazing. I've obviously had a, a couple of like, oh my God, tired days, but really like seriously, like it's made me want another baby. I've enjoyed, I'm enjoying it so much. Uh, I feel really good. With regard to Stanley's health, I went quiet for a while and that was probably mainly due to the fact that we, uh, had an appointment with the paediatrician about Stanley's ventricular megaly, which was his enlarged brain ventricle, which I posted about on Instagram. I didn't post about the appointment, I posted about it in my pregnancy, and I also mentioned it in a vlog in, in my pregnancy, and a couple of people have been in touch with me, because it's something that does happen, like one in a hundred pregnancies, they pick up an enlarged ventricle in the baby's brain, and nine times out of 10, it comes to nothing, but in some instances, it can mean that your child goes on to have hydrocephalus, which is fluid on the brain, which causes an enlarged head, and you have to have an operation called a shunt operation to drain the fluid from your brain into your stomach and it's no small matter, <laughs> let's put it that way, it's really, it's a condition that children um, can live with when they have it, but like it's really worrying. Uh, anyway, in pregnancy they said it was all fine, nothing to worry about and then we took him to see a paediatrician at two or three weeks old and they said, oh his head measurement has gone slightly too fast gone up he's like on the 98 he's got a big head i've got a big head i've all got big heads um and he said i'm a bit worried about that and he thought his fontanelle was a bit bulgy i personally couldn't see the bulge of his fontanelle so i was like if it is bulging it's not bulging much because i can't detect that 
So the paediatrician said, don't go home and Google everything, just hold, hold fire, we'll get you in for a scan, we'll scan his head, we'll see. Cut a long story short, I felt sad for a few hours and then thought, because I was like, okay, we're back on this train again where we're worrying about if you might have hydrocephalus. And then I compartmentalized it for a week and then we got the appointment and it all came, I couldn't compartmentalize it anymore and I was really, really down and I had a major like cry, major like stress out sort of googling hydrocephalus and things like that and then we had the appointment all is fine the person who scanned his head was like he's perfect there's nothing to worry about and i was like oh my gosh and she said please don't google things and tell all your friends who are mums especially don't google things that's my advice to you all today <laughs> so yeah i just felt like i'd won the lottery basically like more than won the lottery like i felt oh my god and like i just keep calling him now hello perfect baby hello you perfect baby because she like said oh he's perfect uh, and i just literally felt like we we've got the golden ticket and but i always said that was tinged with like a bit of sadness and guilt about but some parents don't get that when they come to this appointment and then it made me feel already uh just like blessed not the news um so something i mentioned on my instagram recently just seeing if I can hear Stanley, I can't, it's fine. Uh, is, and I mentioned in a blog post recently, is that I am having social a social drink. I mean, even that's overstating it. Like, that makes me sound like I'm kind of regularly having a drink again. I'm not. I, so I feel like I, um, I, I'm not accountable to anyone, and I feel like very strongly about that, but I have spoken on here and on my blog and I, I'm so open about stuff like I've spoken about my drinking habits before and quite a few people reached out to me privately which does mean that I feel like an element of responsibility and I don't want to appear dishonest like I'm somehow like making out like I'm teetotal but then I'm not teetotal. So basically, I'm no longer teetotal. However, I will never go back to the way I used to drink, um, which was basically like quite regular binge drinking, which sent me loopy. <laughs> so I never kind of grew out of that social binge drinking and it was really getting, having a bad effect on me. So I quit about a year ago and uh yeah and i thought i would never go back to drinking however i never ever ever said that no, i never i don't believe in you know it's that thing of never say never uh but so when i was towards the end of my pregnancy i started to think about it again and i started to think about what does my best life look like and it did include having like one of my biggest pleasures in the whole world is having like a really nice glass of wine with a really nice meal whether that's in a restaurant or in a tapas bar in spain or like here at home uh and i feel like as a kind of parent a busy you know parent who works hard for her family all the time like i deserve those small pleasures and so i just thought i want to test the water again and see how i do so since stanley was born on three occasions i've had a glass of wine i've also had a night out and my kind of thinking around nights out is I was explaining this to someone yesterday and I just feel like I go into nights out now with a realist uh, with a realistic expectation which is I'm not going to sit there having a night out and, and like counting two glasses of wine and kind of like tapping the wood while I like want to have another so what I did I went and had a night out I had a proper night out uh, and I definitely had a headache and stuff the next day however I was fine um, those nights out for me have got to be few and far between and it was the night, it was the it was a last minute impromptu night out because of the, I kind of, a friend had texted me and it was the day we got the good results and I was on top of the world and I was like, yes, let's go out, let's have some drinks. And some other mums came, it was really, we'd all needed to have a catch up for ages, really enjoyed it, nothing bad happened, didn't feel stupid, didn't feel bad, didn't feel guilty, it was great. Um, but for me, like what was happening was I was doing that level of drinking, uh, once or twice a week in the past and so for me now it's not even once a month like once every couple of months but yeah the other thing I was gonna talk about is like this whole YouTube thing and my blog so basically I won an award recently which was amazing and it was for um like best cooking vlog which was like blew me away I didn't even mention it to anyone like I didn't even mention it to Adam or anything uh because I literally just dismissed it I was like oh that's nice 
but like I'm not gonna win, so what's the point in even thinking about it? Anyway, I won. <laughs> so I didn't go or anything and uh, it kind of gave me a boost of like, oh, well, actually that is good. Like people must have voted for you. So yeah, it's a good thing. And I've been very kind of, I've only got so much time at the minute because of Stanley. So I'm like, where should I put my time? I also want to start writing again. I, I wrote three quarters or what, half to three quarters of a book last year then kind of fell out of love with the process of writing i found it very lonely and lost confidence and i was i'd reread it too many times and it seemed rubbish but now i've read it again and it's like it's actually okay and i feel like i should continue working on that so with the book youtube and the blog i'm just gonna have to try and like do the odd youtube video maybe try and go uh move towards like one video a week or something like that and then i'm trying to get back into my i've really found like my cooking mojo again something about having a baby it always makes me get back into my foodie roots the same happened with with b and i remember like cooking a lot and blogging a lot when i had b um uh yeah so i'm good i'm doing more recipe blogs and i'm getting used to just like taking pictures of what we eat for dinner because that process for me is really quick like cook a nice meal take a picture of it write it up that's very doable for me so i can do that i'll be doing that mostly i think at the minute and I'm gonna be trying to aim for one video a week. So that's where I'm at with that. So that is it. Please catch me up on all your news below. If you're one of the people who's been pregnant uh, and following me, and there's been quite a few, it's been so nice, like tell me, have you had your baby? How are you feeling? Uh, requests for videos, anything like that, do comment below. And yeah, that's all for now, guys. Uh, but do let me know if there's any specific foodie videos that you'd like to see. And that is really all for now, guys. Okay, bye.